This video was inspired by Cooking and Craft Chick on YouTube. I'm going to put her channel down below so you guys can check her out. She's awesome. I started with this Luna Bean kit for the hand and I followed the directions to the T. Also, I made a similar project once with my newborn baby niece. Let me know if you guys would like to see me do another project like this with a baby. This is what the hand looked like afterwards. I used a needle to get in between the lines to make any lines that needed to be deep deeper and to just better the detail of the hands. I did not like the sandpaper that was in the kit, so I decided to purchase this little pack from Amazon, and this is what I learned. So basically, the lower the number, the more sanding it's going to do to the sculpture, and the higher the number, is more for like smoothing things out and little tiny details. So depending on what needed to be done, in a specific place is what sandpaper I was using. These sculpting tools came in really handy. I got them from an arts and crafts store listed below. Really didn't need the vacuum. Just swish it away, swish away. To paint the hands, I use this beautiful white paint that when the light hits it, it reflects gold. For the type of gold I was trying to achieve, I only had to do one coat of paint. I had leftover white wall paint from my room transformation. Oh, by the way, if you haven't checked out my room transformation video, you should definitely see that next. to use this snow crystal glitter and mod podge to give it the effect of like magical snow
also use the glue pen to make a squiggly, like a little S. And then just little lines around it to make that little frozen look. And add glitter. Now I did the same thing on the bottom. For the bottom part, I did go longer and sloppier. And the sloppier, the better I found. Or maybe my conscience told me that, you know? Either way, it looked good. Now all the design we just did, you're not going to see it in the next clips because I don't know how I recorded or did things. Just follow this step. I took the strap of beads that I got from the arts and crafts store, cut it, and just inserted the string through one of the beads and made a knot to hold it in place. Now I took one of the beads that I took from the strap, put it through a pin, and put a bigger size bead net so I could glue that at the tippity top of the cloche. I did use wire cutters to cut this um, pin needle thing. It was pretty hard. Side note, in Beauty and the Beast, the rose represents time. So in this project, the last rose is falling. Does it make sense that my theory is like they found love before their time ran out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up if I make sense. <laughs> then I used the glue gun to hold all the beads in place. Now we're jumping back to the following step after this, but now the glass will also have the design that it was supposed to have initially. I used sandpaper to mess up the glass at the top and mess up the bead or the crystal, whatever it is, to mess up the crystal as well so that when I put the hot glue gun, they stick better together because it was coming off when I didn't do this. we take these beautiful silk rose petals and I just arranged them in a way that I liked on our wood thing and I put a little bit of hot glue gun to hold them in place which is totally optional. I use a clear small button and clear transparent thread to make a knot through the button and then I glued the button right on the center inside of the glass. Mm -hmm. 
Afterwards, I'm going to stand it up, put it over the hands, and just eyeball it. Hands on the eyeball um, to see where I want to cut it and how far down I want my floating rose to be. Now I cut and I put a little dab of hot glue gun on the rose petal and stuck it right to the thread. And voila, look at the rose, floating. Finally, I took my fairy lights and I glued my fairy lights all around my cloche. And um, is it cloche? I think it's like cloche, I don't know. I glued it all around my glass and I tried to get the light to be more on the inside of the glass. I don't know if that makes sense, but that was this was my last step, guys. And we're all done.